Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my classroom. Currently I am teaching four preschoolers and two toddlers. So my ages run from 18 months to almost four. So my four preschoolers that I do have this school year are all in a threes preschool program. So you're gonna see a mix of toddler activities and preschool activities in my classroom this year. So I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys a tour. So the first area of our classroom is where we do our circle time. Uh, when it's circle time, I will tell the kids to grab a chair. So they usually just run over and grab their chair from the table and they bring it over to circle time. I got this off of Oriental Trading. And so this was our question of the day today. And then I found this easel on Facebook Marketplace. And this is the first year I've used an easel for circle time and it has been awesome. So if you do not have an easel um, in your circle time setup, I really recommend getting one. So it's really nice. I can just place everything that I need for the week. I put um, behind here and then whatever I want to display for the kids or activities we're going to do during circle time, um, I can have on the front. So this is kind of set up for tomorrow. And then we have our calendar. And then behind this gate is where my toddlers play. They don't play here all day, but um, all these activities and toys and stuff are geared towards toddlers and I rotate those at the end of every week. Now I only have two toddlers this year and they truly do not mind playing in this behind this gate but if you have a gate don't feel discouraged if you can't get your kids to um, want to play in a gated area. I have been doing daycare for 14 years and these two that I have right now they don't seem to mind but there has been other years where this would not have worked and I would just would have had screamers in there wanting to come out with the rest of us. So it doesn't always work. It's working fine for me. Um, this is not really, they can kind of move this. Sometimes they just go like that and they run out anyway. <laughs> but um, for the most part, it's working pretty well. They're older toddlers anyway. And so they're playing in our dramatic play centers and they'll come sit at the table with us. So usually I just utilize this area when I just really need to have a focused time with the preschoolers or the preschoolers have a toy out that's you know a little bit small for the toddlers or whatnot so that's working for me this year but if you've tried that in the past and it hasn't worked I completely understand as well so the first dramatic play center we have is a just a snow uh, dramatic play they are really really loving this so they're going ice fishing there's a shovel and snow and um, just activities here now for my centers I have two centers um, and we, you know, do these for three to four weeks. So I have a snow center and a donut shop center. And what I do is since I have four to six kids playing, depending if the toddlers are playing um, dramatic play, I'll usually put two or three kids in a center. They play for 20 minutes and then we have um, a cleanup song that plays. They clean it up and then we just rotate. So that is why two centers are working really well for my group. I have a very small group this year. And then... This is kind of the area that we go for our learning activities where we learn about our letter, do our math activities, um, do my table time with my toddlers and their tot task boxes. So my two toddlers sit on the toddler table back there and then my preschoolers sit here. This was um, an art project we did today. And so my toddlers did this one. So they used a brown dot marker. Um, to do that and he did not want any marshmallows on his hot chocolate which I thought was crazy but he said no it's probably like a sensory thing because I don't really like touching cotton balls either so that was a reason I completely understand so those these were the two that my toddlers did and then these were the ones that my preschoolers did and I let them use brown paint and it is taking forever <laughs> to dry it's still like soaking wet and so hopefully these will dry um, overnight and we can take these home tomorrow one thing that I do when I am drying crafts is I put them all on trays and you can see I just kind of accordion them up and it works really, really well. It doesn't take up very much room. And so that's drying. This little organizer has been really nice this year too. I put all the preschoolers um, worksheets and stuff in there and then I can just pull the stack out of what we're doing for the day. So that has been really nice. I think that used to sit in my son's by my son's desk, but he wasn't using it. So I snagged it for here and it's working really well. Now I do not have a um, changing table set up. Um, 
And you know, in my last classroom, I had two of these. One of them was my changing table and then one of them has always been kind of the place where I put my stuff for the day. Um, but I did not set up that changing table for this room since I only have two toddlers and one of them is getting close to potty train anyway. And so what I've been doing is I just have a mat that I keep over here in this corner and that's what I'm using to change their diaper. So instead of having a large changing table, cause I really didn't have the room in this, in this classroom to do that. So we are using a, just a monitor to run some shows every once in a while. And I just run them through my computer up onto this, this monitor. So that's working well. We also watch letter videos on YouTube on it and stuff like that, but um, that's working well. They have their tags here. Um, in the drawers, we really just keep extra clothes. The little ones keep their diapers. Um, just basically anything that um, is personal to them goes in there. And then I keep all their mats underneath here. So their nap mats go in there. I do have one that's still in a pack and play and I keep that in just a little closet over here and I just pull that out during nap time as well. And then we pull the mats out. So we are sleeping, playing, eating, everything in the same classroom this year. So, and it's working fine because it is a smaller group. They're a really good group of kids. And so it's been, um, it's been, it's been fine. And then my second dramatic play center we have going on right now is just a donut shop. They love this one as well. Um, I got these little donuts at Menards. Um, Quite a while ago, I think it might have been even November, and I've been saving them for this center, just knowing that I wanted to do a donut shop in this center. And so over here, they've been just been making donuts and selling coffee and stuff. And so I have two closets, that closet there, um, and then this closet here, but it's not all my stuff in there. And then at the end of the month, I just kind of um, pack everything up and take it with us, and we will be packing it into a pod to move it to our new home. And then this is my preschool um, kiddos table toys for the week. And so I have a sensory um, bucket for them. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. We have ice blocks. Um, and these have Yetis in them. I found them in the 90% off at Hobby Lobby uh, last weekend. And they think these are pretty cool. So, and they came to like maybe 20 cents or something. So I grabbed uh, quite a few of these and put them in here. You know, I just have little winter characters, um, these little jingle bells. This is pretty cool. This lights up. And so they, they like playing with that. Um, the other one they've been putting together is a frozen puzzle. They almost have it done. They just have a couple more pieces. They're working on that today. And I told them, let's just set it really nicely up back on the table and you guys can finish it in the morning. So, but it was really cool because they were working, um, all four of them were working together really well on that puzzle today. And then their third table activity this week. Um, I just got this one. I will link this one below, especially if you are a teacher who likes to put theme toys out. This has been a great toy for winter. And so they take these little ice blocks and you build a wall up. Like you can fill this whole space in with um, the ice and then you have to try to like balance the penguin on the ice. And so it's pretty fun. I will link that below. Now our library center is a little bit small this year. Um, so there's quite a few block books in this small space, but I didn't want to like not put some of our books out. And they've been really good about taking care of the books and putting them back nicely. And so when we do library, they come over basically just to this area and they sit, choose a book and they'll sit there and read them. I've also been allowing um, someone to choose the book at PM circle time for the next day. And so they get to come over here and choose which book we're going to read the next day. And then they put it over here um, by our circle time. So this was the book that they chose for me to read tomorrow. So we put it right there. And then my toddler um, table toys are here. And then up here is really just kind of stuff that for me, um, we did just start a new math unit today. We're learning about positions and patterns. And so they 
had to match up the penguins behind the box and they had to find the one that the penguin was behind the desk. And during circle time today, we took little penguins and cups. And then I would say, and we pretend like the, the cups were the penguins house. And so we'd put the penguin in the house. We put the penguin by the house. Um, on the house, under the house. And so it was just a really fun activity that we did to kind of start about this new math unit. So that's it guys. That's what our classroom looks like right now. I love all the winter activities. I love uh, teaching about penguins and polar bears and snow and hot chocolate. And so we are having a really fun month. Uh, what themes are you guys doing in your preschool or daycare classrooms? And I would love to hear all about it in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.